feel bad, rest in peace to X. I just got a new protect, rest in peace, my ex. Brand new crew, fully loaded specs. What's up, everybody? I'll be this morning. Uh, I'm currently heading over to this parts truck to take the antenna mount out of it because my truck does not have one, and this truck does. And I need one to put an antenna on. Yeah, you see, it has that right there. Mine just has a blank hole. So I'm about to take this one off. This is held by like two little things behind this. I don't know what size they are though, but. Mm, figure it out, go ahead and get those taken off. Held on by these two little small ones. I don't know what size they are though, because none of the YouTube videos tell me, but I'm gonna figure out what size that is and I'm gonna get this out. All right, I tried a few. I'm pretty sure it's this 7 30 seconds one. Yes, I see it, yeah. Doesn't move, so I'm gonna use this with this. Go ahead and take this out. And then just unplug it from there and it should pop right out. All right, so I got that thing off a few days ago, but I just got lazy and didn't put it on yet. So it's right here. I got the antenna on. I'm about to take it off to put it in. But come to find out, my truck has an antenna piece, but it's broke. It was just sitting down in here. So I was wondering why that hole was always empty. But it's right here, bro. So I'm gonna put mine on this new one. Not new, but the one I have the parts truck in and show y'all what it looks like with the antenna on. All right, with a little bit of help from Cool Cars KJ, we helping me, uh, this part, the hole was pushed in a little bit. So we used the flathead to push it outwards so I could fit this in. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, I think it's pretty good song. They say the reception sucks for the radio, but who yeah. listens to the radio? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that looks real nice. And who knows, but I painted that gray color. I might order a, uh, might order the silver top part, see how it looks. Yeah. So it'd be like a two-tone thing. Like it, yeah. Oh shoot! Gonna look real good on 700 too. We got the Loctite on. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta take it back off. Put the Loctite. Yeah, we gotta take it off. Put some Loctite, cause you no know, bones be trying to steal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gonna put some Loctite on it, and then that'll be it. I probably put this in a video though with some other stuff. So. The next day. All right, so I'm back. It's a whole another day. I probably just got done watching the bullet antenna video. Now, I've got two more small holes for it. So let's open the tailgate, see what they got. So I got this plate frame. Financial mistake, I thought it was pretty cool. It's only like $10. So I got that. And let me open this and show y'all what these are. I got these. These are valve stem caps with a Chevy logo on it. And I obviously didn't need these, but I was scrolling on eBay and I found them. They were only $8, so might as well get them. I mean, kind of rep the Chevy, so. Yeah, I'm gonna be putting that on and these. And I'll probably just put that together with the video of the bullet antenna. I guess small video, so. Yeah, let me get this uh, plate frame put on. All right, I just got this plate off. And I actually did not know this truck had a hitch on it. It's got a hit in it. Yeah. What's up, y'all? Cool cars, KJ in the building. What it do? Yeah, that's that's a hidden hitch. That's a special hitch to be hidden behind the roll pan. Yeah. Think about it, because a, a bumper gonna come way out. Yeah. Well, you can still haul something with that. And uh, what you're supposed to do is get like a box Chevy or a flip down license plate. Yeah. Where you need to haul something, so you can flip, flip it, it down. Yeah. Or flip it up, either, you know, either way. Yeah. Flip it down and flip it up, and then you can, uh, uh, you know, call the trailer. Yeah, that surprised me. I did not expect that. Pretty cool. But yeah, I'm about to just put it on. I think it's going to look pretty good. All right, something slight, but I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks good. You can see it from the drawer. Natural state, see it's 
supposed to be a lot of money. So, yeah, that's it for that one. So now I'm about to get to put these vows in the caps on. So, it's pretty self explanatory. I put these on. Yeah, close up. See, he's got the Chevy. It's black and like chrome. So, yes, all I do is take this off, screw it on. So, take that off. This one. It's that simple. Adds another nice little black touch. Plan on maybe painting these black too. You see that? The red. So I'm trying to do like gray and black colorway. Just make sure they are all the way. So yeah, just like that. I mean, I'll have to show me doing it four times, but I'll show y'all what I'm doing on full. All right, so I got a wall on. Got that one on. That one. Got that one. And that one. So I got those Chevy valve step caps. Initial mistake plate cover. And last, the bullet answer. So that's it. That's probably gonna be all for this video. So like, share, subscribe. We'll holler at y'all later on. Peace.